Hello everybody, welcome back to my next tutorial. So my last tutorial I did on Transcribe Me and how to get an account and how to pass the test. So I know that I passed the test, but I still had to wait until my account was activated. And once that happened, I received, I think it was just a couple days later, this email that said your transcriber account has now been activated. So it says, hi Jennifer, we'd like to extend a warm welcome to you. We are so happy to see you here. Um, getting started, they give you some links to a handbook, the basics and policies, a Yammer guide. Um, Yammer is their community platform, which I've also been invited to uh, that here. They call it their transcriber water cooler. So you get to um, talk with, here you can see there's over 12,000 different coworkers using Yammer. Basically, you can share ideas, ask questions and answers about how to transcribe or, you know, just talk to other people who are also transcribing. So if I go back here, you can see they have a little bit more information on the style guide, a few quick tips on the style guide. Um, this is really important. Start each job with a lowercase letter unless the word is a proper noun and don't end the file with punctuation, even if you are sure it is the end of a sentence. Do not input speaker IDs or timestamps. Only use the correct tags listed in the style guide and omit filler words such as um when working on clean verbatim files and adhere to the style guidelines. So here there's a bunch of more information which you can read, but I just kind of want to get started uh, and show you what it looks like when you can start accepting jobs. So we're going to click on transcribeme.com again. Click login as transcriptionist. So you can see I'm logged in now, and then I'm gonna click on jobs, and it says, please read the following terms of service carefully. You need to confirm that you accept these terms prior to performing work on the Transcribe Me Work Hub. So you can just go through here and read through these. Once you've read through the terms and conditions, you can click I have read and accept these terms of service, and then click continue. Okay, now you see that it has directed us to a new work hub. So I guess they've recently just changed up the work hub a bit. So this is newworkhub.transcribe me slash transcription. And I've just been um, automatically uh, redirected to this, to the new work hub from the old work hub. And as you can see, it says waiting for work. So we're going to see if there's any work available. Now here it says all work is currently assigned. So there's no work currently available. I'm not sure if it's just when it's doing this refreshing thing, if it's going to automatically refresh when a job comes up. So I'm just going to keep this open and see what happens if a job does come up for me to do. In the meantime, if you click over here, it says instant answers. Um, this is sort of like an FAQ section. So say you have uh, technical difficulties, you can click next, and then you can sort of ask someone. It says we usually respond in a few hours. Okay, so finally, um, it kept refreshing to find me work, and it's finally come up with this. So right here they have in this section, it says the previous transcription ends with these words. So I know that I have to continue on my next line. Um, so what I would do is I would press play, and that will start playing the audio, which I can begin transcribing. Now remember, we don't need to put a speaker ID, and also we wouldn't start this with a capital uh, letter unless it was a pronoun or a proper noun rather. So for example, let's say he says to buy tea and biscuits. I'm just um, writing whatever to protect the privacy of the client. Um, and then let's say there's another speaker. All you have to do is click enter. You don't have to do anything else. You don't do double enter just once. And you would begin speaking, for example, like this. And you can keep going um, as such. You can press forward to forward backward to backwards. You can click the playback speed if you want to go down, make it really slow. If you want to speed it up, you can adjust the volume, uh, put it on loop. If you wanted to install a pedal, you could do that. And they have a plugin available on the Chrome Web Store. You have your ID of the work that you're doing. Here it says the style glide to uh, clean verbatim two-step rush. It gives you some tips, uh, things that they want for this. So Use US English, clean verbatim, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Also, we have hotkeys. So, control plus period is forward, control plus comma is backward, plus um, dash is player pause. So, there's all these different uh, hotkeys for you to use. 
When you're ready to submit the file that you've transcribed, you can click submit, you can click, um, or you can click cancel. And it says, cancel job, please be aware that if you cancel your assigned job more than three times in a five minute period, you will lose your place in the queue and you will not be able to pick up a new job for two minutes. You will also not receive payment for any job that is canceled. Are you sure you want to cancel this job? So this one, I was listening to the audio. It was way too difficult because someone's typing really hard as the person is speaking. So I have no idea what the person is saying. So I'm going to click OK to cancel. All right, it has just taken me now to the WorkHub dashboard. Again, uh, here I can see my level. I'm, I haven't done any work yet, so I'm still level zero trainee. And then you have level one and then Speedster level three. You can also change the interface of your WorkHub dashboard if you like dark or light. And you can click Manage Hotkeys if you would like to change these. Put the cursor into the text field, press key or shift plus key you want to set as a hotkey. So that's neat if you are used to using a certain set of keys for transcribing. Let's go back and click on Jobs again. And again, it's going to take me to the new WorkHub. And it's going to say waiting for work. All work is currently assigned. So if you just keep this open, um, eventually when a job becomes available, it will become available for you to work on as it did for me. And then if you don't want to do the job, you can just click cancel as I did for that one. It doesn't seem like there's a whole lot of work right now. I'm not sure if it's the time of day, um, but this is something I'm curious about. So I'm going to keep trying and see uh, if it gets easier to get jobs and, and if there is a lot of work available. From what I can see that it seems like this is very similar to CrowdSurf and maybe this pays better than CrowdSurf does, but CrowdSurf has a lot of work available and if you don't like a job, you can just click next job so you don't have to wait uh, forever to get a job assigned to you. That's just my take on it so far. So I would recommend you check out my other transcribing tutorials. Make sure to check out CrowdSurf. I will link that in the description below and also a little card on, that will pop up on YouTube. You can also check out my tutorials on Rev, QA World, um, and all sorts of other different platforms for how to make money online. So thank you very much for watching my tutorial and I hope you found this useful.